from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. By now, educators have a lot of research that shows us the benefits of voluminous, self-selected book reading. What we know is that independent readers score the highest on standardized tests of reading ability. Kids who read extensively for pleasure develop larger vocabularies, they write more effectively, they spell more accurately, they perform better in math and science, they demonstrate greater knowledge of history and geography. Um, it also turns out that children's pleasure reading is important not just for educational attainment, but also for social mobility. Um, a recent study shows that a childhood that's rich with self-selected books can help even our most challenged kids increase cognitive development and overcome social inequalities. As adults, book readers vote more often. We volunteer more. Um, we demonstrate greater empathy. Um, Yale tells us we even live longer. <laughs> Yet, independent book reading is a low-priority activity in U.S. classrooms. Most of the good work that people have described today working with children is happening through t tutorials. In our classrooms, especially in the U.S., commercial reading programs have a stranglehold. At the secondary level, kids are reading whole class novels or textbooks, and these activities are squeezing independent reading out of the school day. When kids are allowed to choose their own books, teachers attach conditions um, that strip meaningful, pleasurable reading of meaning and pleasure. Quizzes, book reports, projects, endless dioramas, collages, character dress-up days, um, assignments to write a new chapter or summarize the book in 10 words or four emojis or a meme. Um, the Center for Teaching and Learning is a K-8 demonstration school. Our role is to innovate and then to pass along best practices. Our faculty has learned to trust in two things, the power of stories and the power of kids' humanity. Since 1990, we've been working to demystify the process of learning to read with an approach we call Reading Workshop. In Reading Workshop, kids choose their own books. They read every day at school and at home. And they soar as readers in terms of accuracy, stamina, habits, and a love of literature. The annual average for our fifth through eighth graders is at least 40 books. Uh, in the primary grades where picture books rule, kids read hundreds of titles every year. Our kids recommend the best of the best of those stories on our school website. Um, lots and lots of teachers Three or 4,000 visits um, a week look at that website to find out what to do to enrich their classroom libraries. The reading workshop teachers at our school invite and sustain book reading by making book reading the central activity of the reading curriculum, supported by appropriate research-based instruction. That means there's time every day in school for kids to curl up with great stories they chose and to confer quietly with their teachers about what and how they're reading. The teachers curate big, updated classroom libraries of compelling books. They and their students recommend titles to one another in book talks to the class, and they establish special bookshelves in their classrooms where kids can display their favorite titles. Teachers give kids ways to keep track of the books they've read, but also the books they might want to read someday. And they conduct brief, pertinent lessons to the whole group about authors and illustrators, about genres, about literary elements, about the strategies that good readers use. Our school provides colorful handmade book bags to every kid so they can more easily fulfill our baseline K-8 to homework assignment, and that's to read or to be read to for at least a half an hour every night. We send home a newsletter to parents about how they can help. And each June, we send our kids home with supermarket carrier bags stuffed with books they've borrowed because we know that many of our kids live in virtual book deserts um, because of the phenomenon also known as summer slide when kids who don't read in the summer lose as much as, as three months of measured reading ability. Again, our job at CTL is to teach children and teachers. 
the faculty writes books. Um, Scholastic has generously uh, given a free copy to all of you here today. It's in the materials room. Uh, this is our latest, The Reading Zone. It's the place our kids say they go when they're lost in a good book. We invite other teachers into our classrooms. We give speeches and presentations. All of this to promote the power of authentic reading in school. Book reading, book reading makes readers. Literacy blooms in a reading workshop because kids have easy access to books they want to read, time to get lost in them, and also opportunities to discover what reading is good for, here and now, and in their literate lives to come. CTL is grateful to the Library of Congress and David Rubenstein for this acknowledgement. In anticipation of the award, I know my colleagues are busily thinking which books they want to order next for their classroom libraries. Classroom libraries bring the world to our rural Maine students. They make them smart about everything. When they grow up and leave Maine, they recognize and embrace the wide world they encounter out there because they already know the world. It's already lodged in the chambers of their imagination because of all of those thousands of lines of black print. Thank you. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.